Hi y'all, today we're putting a, a couple of roof jacks on the three inch fresh air intake and exhaust pipes for our 95% efficient furnace. So uh, stay tuned to see how it's done. Okay, I wish I had one here to show you, but it's just a rubber boot, kind of cone shaped with a metal flange around the bottom of it. The first thing you do is you cut the boot to fit the size of the pipe. This has some markings on it for different size pipes and you cut it at the, the size that you need and it just slips over the top of it. Uh, then you'll, we'll use an electric drill with a drill bit to drill some holes in the boot and also through the metal roof so that we can fasten it with some uh, uh, roofing screws. And, but before we do that, we put some caulking on the underside of the boot so that it will seal up nice and tight when we fasten it with the screws. And then when we're done, we'll take some extra caulking and just go around the edges and, and seal it off nice and neat just to keep water from getting underneath it. And what uh, type of caulking do you use, David? Uh, Master Seal NP1. Is that a silicone caulking? It, it's, it's a special sealant made for working with metal roofs. And the nice thing is it's kind of grayish in color so that if you get a little bit on your galvalone roof it won't show up too bad because it's about the same color. And you're doing this on our intake and exhaust pipes for our furnace. About what's the diameter of those so pipes? Those are three inch schedule 40 pipes. Okay. Alrighty. David's going to take some close-up pictures and we have some video. So um, here he goes. This is what a roof jack looks like before it's trimmed and installed. And the one that we're using is a number three universal master flash made by Aztec Washer Company, Poway, California, USA. Uh, you be careful up there, don't fall. David's putting roof jacks on the exhaust and the intake pipes for our furnace to prevent rain from getting in. So he's up there on the top of the roof. And I'm on top of the truck videotaping it. And yes, we now have insurance. Okay, he's got the caulk gun and a cordless drill heading up the ladder. We hope you enjoyed David's video on installing the roof jacks. If you did, give us a thumbs up. We really would appreciate your comments and suggestions. Let us know if you'd like to have more videos like this one. 
If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you join our adventure and share the video. We really want to be able to show everyone how we're building our homestead from the ground up. We'd love to have you join the adventure. So guys, have a great day. Bye y'all. Hi y'all, it's time for some homestead updates. Let me catch you up with projects we've been working on, supplies that we've been picking up, and it's the holidays.